It has been called the city of Toronto's worst intersection. Nicknamed the Six Points, the area around Dundas, Bloor and Kipling is finally being renovated after years of community complaints about the dizzying array of confusing intersecting streets. The ongoing construction is frustrating enough for commuters in Etobicoke, but now there is another controversy. One of the three streets that will be created when construction is done may be named after our notorious late mayor, Rob Ford. As Pam Seidel tells us, the possibility is bringing out opinions both for and against the idea. I think it's a terrific idea. I think he deserves that. You know, he was a nice guy. So uh, probably it would be a good idea. The prospect of naming a street after Rob Ford, Toronto's mayor from 2010 to 2014, came after an online proposal to the public to send in suggestions. More than 600 names were submitted. That list was whittled down to 10. There are three new streets that will be created. The name suggestions include the former Blue Jays broadcaster Jerry Howarth and some indigenous language names. Officials tell me this is the first time the city has invited the public to participate in the street naming process. Uh, Mr. Ford was, was you know, the 64th mayor uh, of, of this city and uh, had tremendous support, particularly in his home, uh, home of Etobicoke. And so it is a very subjective process. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, picking names is, is in and of itself subjective. But we need to make sure that we're reflective of the entire community. And many people uh, submitted Mr. Ford's name. I'm probably in one of my drunken stupors. He admitted to heavy drinking and drug use and was notoriously caught on video smoking crack. The idea that he should be immortalized with a street name has been met with outrage online with over a hundred people strenuously opposing the proposal. Sandra tweets, why are we glorifying someone with a shady past and bad behavior? Not really. I, you know, that's, he's a human, a just human. You know, everyone will make mistakes. Councillor Kristen Wong Tam says it would be more appropriate to name one of the streets after Peter Milchin, the former councillor and MPP who is not on the short list, but she says spearheaded the reconstruction project years ago. And while she understands that Rob Ford, who died of cancer in 2016, was well loved by many of his constituents, she does not think a street should be named after him at this point. Uh, considering the notoriety that surrounded him um, from his um, that were, were deemed as criminals um, to the controversy that in the chaos he threw city council uh, into, mm -hmm. um, it, it's probably a little bit too soon. It is not the first time there's been a proposal to honor Rob Ford's name. His family wanted an Etobicoke sports stadium named after him. That was ultimately rejected by city council. The names for the three streets will be chosen by the Etobicoke York Community Council, and you will have a chance to rank your favorites online until September 2nd. For the link, go to our website, citynews.ca.